Hey guys, and thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking subscribe up there. And uh, I hope you enjoy my videos. Today we are going to be talking about the smart automated outdoor setup. And today we're going to be showing you how to connect the LED cabinet lights. You know, at nighttime we have um, needs for lights, especially in the outdoor kitchen. So we have LED lights under the granite countertops here and under the grill here and we'll go over what makes the lights go on in here so you want to illuminate the area so when you open this at nighttime you can see and so we'll go over the electronic devices the lights themselves um, which brand which company and the open and closed door sensors which we use um, and how to implement that and get that working so it's pretty seamless and easy. We'll go over all the products and as such, um, you'll know what to buy, where to buy it, and the best ones out there. And you can see here, I'll show you a little sneak peek here. Okay, so first and foremost, um, when setting up your outdoor automated lights uh, with Samsung SmartThings, you need to pick the type of lights you want. And the type of lights that I use here, I get on Amazon, and that's the LED MY LED strip waterproof LED light strip, super bright, DC 12 volt, 24 watt, and that's the 300 LED, the IP68. So it's good for underwater, it's waterproof, um, good for under kitchen cabinets, outdoor, and in fact, the one that we are using, I have a picture here. Um, I do have one already installed at this point, but I will show you what this does look like and what it comes with. So you can see here, this is 16 foot of strip and it also does come with the the wire jack, okay? And we'll be talking about this as well. Um, this is a connector power adapter and you'll need the female and the male all right, and we'll show you why. So in terms of the LED lights, they have great sticking ability on the back, but if that does fail, you can actually use the glue gun, which I have found to be very good in outdoor conditions. So, but the sticking ability of the back is very good. Okay, so you have that. The next thing you're gonna need to have is your power source. So taking it down, um, you know, this is DC 12 volts, and we have the LED um, 12 volt waterproof electronic LED driver okay so you need to make sure it's waterproof all right and that it can uh, you know take care of the capacity um, of the lights you're trying to use okay um, you can see the end of this you have cut off um, wire ends here and that's where it's going to become important to have ends such as the male and the female um, barrel connector power adapters like these here. All right, so some of the other things we're gonna use are the LED light connectors for 90 degree angles, and you can see here. And here's another one you can use for the end of the LED strip. So you strip the end of that. We're not gonna show that part here, but you'll strip the end of it. And so you have uh, wires on the end here, so you can use your connectors these and connect it to this and so you can now have a male and female connection for your LED power source okay so in general that is pretty much what we're looking at in terms of supplies and can't forget about the one of the most important things to make this automated is the sensitive strip here which they're not cheap uh, but they do work, they're thin, and they're very easy to use in any setting. Um, you have the strip here, the sensitive strip it's called, and it's very thin, and it's good outdoors, indoors, whatever it may be. And uh, the other end here, um, you have your 
the magnet and that is going to communicate with this when you shut it to turn the light off and when you open it to turn the light on and I do that through using one of my um, smart switches and in this case I'm using the dual outdoor Z-Wave plug with built-in repeater and has the ability to control two outlets individually with one module and that's by Innovelli which is a very nice product and I'll show the link um, to that in my video along with the picture um, but it does look like what you see down here it's not exactly neat down there and we will clean it up but I just wanted to give you an idea of what we're looking at so let me take you deeper in there and we'll show you the setup so I already did um, connect the LED lights in here you can see they stick very nicely to the wood in here and in this case I didn't do any 90 degree angles but you can do that very simply here I just went straight around and it sticks very nicely and it's just like this the LED lights have uh, areas where it instructs you to cut so you would be cutting uh, where it says to cut there and there are LED light connectors which I have and some of them are IP86 and waterproof and you can use them outdoors in this case I used a wire connector here which attaches to the end of the LED light and it gives me at the other end the wire and now what I need to do is how to connect this to my power source so that's where it's going to come in where we need to use the male and the female adapter and so I have one here okay now the other option is to use a piece like this that already has adapter on it and it's built into this one so I could have used this and attached this and this is the 5630 LED flexible light strip clip on connector in DC jack all right and I'll show you the link to that um, on my YouTube video and that's already soldered it's solderless and simply connect this to here and then connect the other end to your power source do is we're going to connect this adapter to this end and we're going to take our LED power source um, and connect the other adapter to the other end. Well, we follow the red and the black and you connect it by squeezing down a terminal here and inserting the wire and releasing. And so now we'll connect the other end, which is the male end, to the end of the LED power source. So, okay, so here I have the LED waterproof power source. And again, you can see the ends of it. You have the red and the black. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the other end here to this, insert it into that. And we need a smart switch in order to plug in the three prong adapter there too. And that's where the smart switches come in and we have several of them over there. After we do that, our light will now have a power source, but the next step is to be able to control the lights based on an open and closed mechanism, which you'll see will come under our automation in the uh, Smart Things by Samsung app. And so we'll set it to turn this light switch on here when this open and closed door sensor is activated. So hold tight. Okay, so now you can see we have the LED switch plugged into our smart switch and we've completed the circuit here. Um, and so now I don't want to be able to control this light every time I need to get in here by turning it on and off. I want to be able to open and close this cabinet and have it automatically go on and off. So we are using the sensitive strip. You can see it's activated here. Um, and we want these doors to initiate the open, sorry, the turning on and turning off of those lights. So I'm gonna provide the steps for you in this video so that you know how to set up that in order to control the specific uh, light switch we have plugged in here. Okay, so right now we're looking at my phone and I'm going to show you how to automate the process of being able to turn these lights on while 
opening the door. So I want to go to automation and I want to add a smart app, let's say. I want to do smart lighting, okay? And I want to do a new lighting automation. So it asked me, what devices do you want to control? So I want to control my plug-in outdoor switch. And what do you want to do? I want to turn it on. And what's the trigger? Well, the trigger is going to be an open and close. It's going to ask me which open and close sensors. And you see here we have the outdoor kitchen sensitive strips. So I'm going to hit that and done. Turn on when opened. Well, that is correct. And turn off when closed. And that is correct. Or after this number of minutes. So you can set it, say, like five minutes. Now, it does take a little bit for the system to get used to it, to automate it. Um, and, you know, it, it may not happen right away on the first time. We're going to call this. Automatic LED light. I will hit save. And I don't always expect it to happen right away when I create it, but we'll see. Okay, so we added that smart app under the lighting, automated lighting. So let's see what happens when we open the doors and more specifically at nighttime because we want to see what happens. And you can see the lights coming on. And this will provide great illumination for you um, as you're working outside in your outdoor kitchen, your outdoor space. We have implemented this pretty much everywhere in the patio. Um, also the outdoor fire pit works on the same uh, way with the switch. And that's more of a manually um, start from the phone itself in the Samsung smart things. So check out my the details below and you'll see the links to all the different products I used in this and how to automate the lights in your outdoor um, kitchen. Again this is all uh, waterproof. Um, we use the Samsung smart things, the Z-Wave Plus sensitive strips, Inno Valley, um, Z-Wave uh, switch which is great outdoors and you can control two outlets with, with one there. Okay, so welcome to almost nighttime. We, you can see we have our other LED lights on here. And so let's go ahead and open the cabinet under here. And see what happens. And you can see instant light. Works great. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos on my smart home and outdoor living in a smart home and my drone videos as well the dgi phantom 4 pro plus